Session management in DScope offers a variety of capabilities. The session management in DScope works with two different tokens, session token and a refresh token. Session token has a 10 minute validity. Refresh token validity can be configured. Whenever a session token expires, application can use refresh token to get a new session token. The session token can also contain information like tenants, roles, and permissions if configured in the DScope console. Session token can be refreshed only if the refresh token is valid. The token management in your application will differ based on the integration approach that you have chosen, whether it's a client SDK or a backend SDK. And lastly, DScope supports logout and logout from all device functionality in session management. The refresh token timeout can be configured in DScope console. When choosing a refresh token timeout, consider the user experience versus security trade-off. The longer refresh token timeout means the user will not need to log in for that entire window, but that also means it's less secure for certain application types. Let's look at a scenario when your application uses client SDKs to implement the integration. This sequence diagram covers the session token and refresh token exchanges when your application chooses to integrate using client SDK. The same sequence diagram applies to integrating using DScope flows as well. So typically when an application client starts an authentication request and a successful authentication happens, the successful authentication returns session and refresh token. At this point of time, the client SDK can automatically refresh the session token in case it expires using the refresh token. Your application does not need to worry about the refresh of the session token if using client SDK. The only responsibility that your application has is to send the session token along with the request for sensitive resources. As we mentioned earlier, your application's responsibility is to send the session token from the application client to the application server. You can do this by getting the session token with this particular call and sending the session token in the authorization header. On the application server side, you should extract the session token from the authorization header and validate the session using validate session call from the DScope backend SDK. There are two different ways supported for storage of refresh token in your application. Either these can be managed in cookies or these can be managed in response body. If you choose to manage in cookies, CNAME must be configured so that the cookie can be stored as an HTTP only cookie using your custom domain. If you choose the manage in body setting, then the refresh token is stored in the local storage. Now let us look at the backend session and refresh token management. This is the sequence diagram when you choose to integrate using the backend SDKs only, which means your application server communicates with the DScope service for all authentication requests and validation of the session. So the first step is for the application client to send an authentication request to your application server. Your application server will then contact the DScope service for an authentication request, which could be sending an OTP, a magic link, or any of the other methods. This could contain multiple steps, which is verification of OTP or magic link or any other authentication method. After the successful authentication, the session and refresh token is returned from the DScope service. You can choose to return the session and refresh token to your application client. This is the most common method, but there are many ways where you can choose to store session and refresh token in your application server as well. In case you decide to store the session and refresh token on the application client, in that scenario, the application client must send session and refresh token to your application server, which can then validate the session token before returning any sensitive resources. In case the validation of the session token fails, which is this particular scenario right here, in that scenario, your application server must contact DScope for refreshing the session token 
using the refresh token. The Descope service will return the new session token. And at this point of time, you can send the new session token back to your application client. And the application client must store the new session token for future requests. So let's recap. In case you're using a backend SDK integration, your application responsibility is to manage the session and refresh token within your application client or your application server after the authentication request. The most common approach is to send the tokens to client and store on the client side as cookies. Validation of session token before serving sensitive data is also your application responsibility. If the validation of the session token fails, your application server can refresh token using Dscope SDK or API and the refresh token. And the last step is for your application to make sure that the new session token that is received after refresh is sent to the application client for storage and further requests. Dscope documentation covers all of the topics covered in this tutorial in great depth in these three different articles.